Thousands are being killed on the streets of Myanmar. I've seen pictures over the past year of people being burnt alive. These images should not happen at all, and that's why we're here today. If everyone in the crowd can join me, I'm going to say, what do we want? And if you could say freedom, I'm going to ask you to say, what do we want it? You say now. So are we ready? What do we want? Freedom! What do we want? Freedom! What do we want? Most regular moms, respect to Mary and my brothers and sisters, dear fellow Lao compatriot. My name is Unshan Sankavong, representing the Union for Lao Nation and the Research and Center Study Center on Lao in Asia, whose work is to advance democracy and human rights in Laos. We are here today to support our brothers. Uh, we are here today to support uh, our brother and sister of Cambodia and Myanmar uh, who have been fighting the just fight and still going strong, unshakably determined. People of Myanmar, Cambodia and Laos have faced similar fates, living under oppressive regimes where freedom of speech, free press, freedom of assembly and association, right of worship, independent judiciary system and multi-political party system are non-existent. Human rights abuse are widespread, arbitrary arrests are common, fear reigns everywhere. Drugs and human trafficking are rampant. Corruption and national wealth looting by the ruling power are in alarming scale and show no sign of ending. It is also a great concern that the democratic progress achieved in decades ago showed drastic setback. For instance, in Cambodia, the Khmer people were overwhelmed, full of hope, at the signing of the 1991 Paris Peace Accord ending decades of civil war and foreign occupation. In Myanmar, people of Myanmar were overjoyed when Osa Suu Kyi, the Peace Nobel Prize awardee, was released from house arrest and led the National League for Democracy Party to win a landslide victory in the general election in 2015 and ended a in 2020 but sadly overthrown by the military coup three months later. Citizen of Cambodia, citizen of Myanmar and the world would understand and think out loud then that Cambodia and Myanmar are on the path to democratic reconciliation, lasting peace, stability and prosperity. In Laos, my native country, it is different. There was no visible and shown effort toward democracy. After the coup in 1975, the Lao People Revolutionary Party seized power. King Sri Savavatana was forced to abdicate and the Lao People Democratic Republic was proclaimed. Since then, the 
only indication for hope for Lao people that Lao will be in a state of war after 60 years of ruling the, com the country. The Lao Communist government adopted for the first time the constitution in 1991. But this is only on the paper. In practice, it is a different story. In conclusion, we humbly urge the U.S. government and the world leaders to take robust action to promote human rights and democracy in ASEAN countries and make these repressive government accountable of their wrongdoing by imposing economic sanctions and based on harmful and armed sales. May I just fight? May I? Dictatorial regime have no place in ASEAN and in our planet Earth. Autocracy in ASEAN must end now. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Kuchang. Next, we will be welcoming our CNRP representatives, activists from different states. เสียงเพลงเพลงเสียงเพลงเสียงเพลงเสียงเพลงเสียงเพลงเสียงเพลงเสียงเพลงเสียงเพลงเสียงเพลงเสียงเพลงเสียงเพลงเสียงเพลง
morning one of Park Green talked up the freedom. That the new course we come here we want freedom for our nation. Country. So I'm honored today to come down here to express my feeling, to express my support for our new year. They come here by your own function, your own determination, your love, your country. Thank you. That's all. One more time.
This is Paul from This is Philip from Long Beach. Oh, yeah, come here.